Hey guys, it's Pierre, and in this video, I'm going to explain everything I know about padel rackets. You may not have heard of padel yet. There are about 25 million players worldwide, but it's pretty new in the U.S. Everyone else calls it paddle, by the way, but we already have a paddle, so we call it padel to be different. Padel is a doubles game, and it has glass walls around it, so you can play the ball off the wall, a little bit like squash. It's super fun and you should definitely try it if you get a chance. When I first got into the sport, I didn't know anything about the equipment. I just bought a kind of cheap racket to start with. But of course, over the last couple of years, I've started to figure out what makes one padel racket different from another. You can see really big price differences in these rackets and a lot of the lingo is unfamiliar. So in this video, I'm going to explain everything I know about padel rackets right now. First is the surface. Padel rackets either have a fiberglass or a carbon fiber surface. We are talking about the outside layer of the rackets. Obviously, there are no strings on these rackets, so the surface that you're making contact with is what I'm talking about. Fiberglass is softer and more forgiving, easier on your arm, easier for people who are just getting started, and carbon fiber is stiffer, harder, more powerful, and more accurate, you could say, because it just doesn't deflect as much. So the better players are all using carbon fiber rackets. Within carbon fiber rackets, there are different levels of hardness, and they're indicated by a K value, which you can see in the product description. So on the low end, you might have something like 3K carbon, and on the high end, you might have something closer to 15 or I think 24K carbon. One exception to that is Adidas rackets, which have something called carbon aluminized two to one. I think that's the hardest surface of all, but I've only seen that in Adidas rackets. Padel rackets have holes in them. By regulation, they're required to have at least one hole. And there is actually a racket out there that has only a single hole. But for the most part, all the rackets I've seen have a pattern of holes. And this helps reduce the weight of the racket for one thing. But it also allows air to flow through as you're swinging and reduce resistance as you swing through the ball. Air resistance. The hole patterns can differ from racket to racket. In the Adidas range, the higher end rackets tend to have a curved hole pattern and their lower end rackets tend to have a more linear pattern but I've seen linear patterns on high end rackets from other brands. Apparently according to Adidas the curved pattern lets you get more spin on your shots but in practice I've tried both and I cannot tell the difference. The inside of a padel racket is made of foam and just like with the surface material the inner foam material ranges from softer and more forgiving but less powerful to stiffer, harder, more powerful, more control but less forgiving. So in general, the, the sort of stiffer the foam, it, the higher end racket you're dealing with. Adidas rackets are all made of EVA foam, which is the same kind of foam that you might find in the soles of squash shoes or running shoes. Adidas Padel rackets have three types of foam. They have high memory, which is the stiffest and most powerful, soft performance, which is the most forgiving, and soft energy, which is a hybrid of the two. Adidas uses different color of butt caps to help you identify the foam in any particular racket. The red cap means the high density, high memory foam. The black cap is the low density, soft performance foam. And then the blue cap is the hybrid soft energy. It can be difficult to compare foams across brands. This head racket here has what they call power foam. And I don't know how that compares to the Adidas foams. Another differentiating factor is the head shape of padel rackets. There are three main types. You have round shapes, you have teardrop shapes, and you have diamond shapes. And the shape influences both the weight balance of the racket 
and also where the sweet spot is and, the, and to some extent the size of the sweet spot. A diamond shaped racket has more of the weight towards the head of the racket, towards the top, and so that's going to feel head heavier and it's also going to move the sweet spot further to the outer edge of the racket. A round racket is the opposite, it is, has more of the weight towards the handle of the racket and the sweet spot is going to be further down, it's going to be really in the dead center and this is actually, um, I believe, going to make the sweet spot a little bigger on a round racket. A teardrop is just kind of in between the round and the diamond shapes in terms of the location of the sweet spot and the weight balance. Another differentiating factor in Padel rackets is the weight. They generally range from 355 grams to about 375 grams and you can have lighter or heavier. In general, the lighter rackets are easier to swing, easier to maneuver, uh, but lack a little bit of power. And the heavier rackets are more difficult to maneuver, more difficult to get into position, but when you do hit the ball, they pack a lot more force. Many pedal rackets have additional reinforcement, I'll call it, around the frame to provide additional stability as you hit your shots. I've seen these reinforcements in the throat of the rackets, I've seen them along the outer edges of the rackets, I've seen them at the top of the rackets, the higher end rackets, the more powerful rackets, the more likely you are to see these reinforcements because if you're hitting quite hard, you want that racket to stay stable and not torque when you're, when you're hitting a hard ball. So generally speaking, the more expensive rackets are going to have more of these reinforcements placed around the frame and the less expensive rackets are going to have none of that. Padel rackets often have a certain grit on the surface of the paddle. There are three types that I have mainly seen. One is a sandpaper kind of feel, a rough surface that allows you to grip the ball and impart a little bit more spin. The second type is, it's a smooth surface but it has these sort of raised bumps in a pattern on the surface and it's the same concept. Those bumps that are, are poking out are there to help cut into the ball and provide more spin. And there's a third type of uh, grit I've seen which is basically a smooth surface with no grit whatsoever. I've found you can still put tons of spin on the ball even with a smooth surface so I am not sure how much the grit really matters. Although mentally I slightly prefer the sandpaper type feel on my shots. All pedal rackets have a wrist strap and according to the pedal rules you are required to wear this around your wrist. There are two types that I've seen. One is just a simple loop that you put your wrist through and another has more of a cinching mechanism that closes tight around your wrist. I much prefer the second option. It just feels more secure on my wrist. All the Adidas paddles I've played with have the simple loop and the head racket that I have here is a cinching one. Much like squash rackets, Padel rackets get new releases every year and sometimes you'll have the same racket from last year get re-released this year with a different cosmetic. As far as I can tell a lot of times it's just a new cosmetic. So one of the factors in the difference of Padel paddles is just how old the model is. The latest model, the coolest model, the one that the a particular pro is playing with is always going to be the most expensive whereas last year's model that the pro may have used last year is going to be sold at a discount and often you can get a good paddle racket just by buying last year's model the same as uh, as when buying squash rackets. Guys that's all I got for today. If you have a chance to try Padel or Paddle I definitely recommend it. It's a ton of fun and hopefully this video is useful. There's a link underneath this video if you want to sign up for emails anytime I pu publish a Padel paddle video. Thanks a lot. We'll see you. Bye.